Hi friends, how are you? Today we have a viewer submission. Um, they requested, actually their model requested that we smooth out this stomach portion of the dress. We all have that awesome dress that we look fabulous in when we're standing up, having a good time. Then we sit down and the dress is just not so fabulous. Um, and so we're going to smooth that out. I think she looks great. She disagrees. Uh, the client is always right. So let's get to work on this and see what we can do. Um, so it, it's going to be a process. I'll be honest. There's um, not a lot of extra space to work with for cloning and whatnot. And so um, it's going to be a lot of blending, a lot of kind of layering of colors, one on top of another uh, to get this all smoothed out and looking right. And the very first thing I'm going to do is use my magic wand tool in the plus mode here, using my bracket keys to the right of the P to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to, I want to grab her arms. I'm going to use the minus mode and I'm going to go in here. This is going to be super important. This selection process is going to help me so very much in the process. And I'm just going along very smoothly. I'm using um, my palm of my hand to make my selection tool turn into this little hand so I can drag it around and I'm zooming in with control plus I'm using my bracket keys to make it a little bit smaller there we go getting this right is going to be such a huge help to getting everything right There we go. Okay, so now what I'm just gonna do is I have basically her arm selected. I'm gonna say Control C to copy, Control V to paste. You can see down here in my layers, I have this little set of arms now that we could drag around, but we just want them to live right where they started. So I'll just use my history states here to go back to paste. So great, now we have some arms. I can, that means I can work on this layer without any of my cloning or brushing or anything like that getting on her arms. I'm also going to go to my background layer and say control J to make a background copy. That way this is going to remain untouched in case I need to go back a lot for some reason. Um, I do this in this instance, I do want to work on a background copy. I don't do that all the time, but I know that this is about to be a ton of work. So I want to keep this here um, for a variety of reasons and we'll kind of get into those later. But basically, so I have an untouched original back here that I can revert to, um, I can erase to, I can get back to if I need to. So we're going to click right here on our background copy. And the very first thing we're going to do is hit S for our clone stamp. Uh, lighten mode sounds like a good place to start. Maybe 27%. Using my bracket key to the right of the P to alt click. And we're just going to fill this in. So this is going to go through many stages. Sometimes it's going to look better. Sometimes it's going to be like, oh, what are you doing? But it's all just a process that we're doing. I'm just kind of alt clicking up here, getting lower. I honestly like this darker color better for down here, but there's just not a lot to work with. So I'm going to hop into my darken mode. Alt click and see if I can actually just get some more of this dark color across the dress. I think it's going to help us out. That was too much. Use my history state just to go back just a little bit. Grab my history brush over here. 50%. There we go. That's good. And I'm going to go back to my clone brush. And guys, this is just a lot of back and forth. Um, we'll stay in darken mode. Alt click here. And I'm going to darken down here now. Alt click. Alt click. Every time you see the little target appear, that's me pressing Alt and then I click with the mouse to select a new area to clone from. 
There we go. All right, let's go back to lighten mode. And it's guys, it's just a lot of back and forth, a lot of blending, a lot of kind of just looking to see how we can improve each little area as we work through it. There we go. I hit control Z because I didn't like what I did down there. I want to try to keep this a little bit darker. There we go. It's super fun. I started this without um, my glasses or contacts in. It's like wild times over here. There we go. This is going fairly smoothly. Um, I'm actually quite happy with this. I'm still in lighten mode, 31%. Just a lot of alt click. So I'm going to zoom out. Sometimes you need to zoom out. So you can, there's areas I want to work in. We have this darker area of some of which I made, which is okay. We have a lighter area right there. I'm going to work on that right there. Use our darker section. There we go. Just to blend for after. I do like that. That's good. Kind of darken all of this a little bit. This is going very well. I'm quite, quite pleased with this progress so far. I want to blend this a little bit more. So let's go to lighten. Go. Oh, there. I was like, why is it not changing? That was all darkened. Sorry about that. Lighten mode. There we go. Better. I'm digging that. So we still have some creases here to work on, there to work on. Let's see if we can go lighten 80%. Let's give it a try. Alt click. Let's see what happens. Hey, that's pretty cool. Alt click. I'm good with it. I see we've gotten into the arm and there's some weird stuff going on here. I'm not worried about that yet. We're going to worry about that later. And not even, we're not even actually going to worry about it. We're just going to fix it. There's nothing to worry about. It's just Photoshop, you know? No worries on this. There we go. We got a hard line right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. It goes right across there. It's a little bit lighter, so I'm going to say darken. I'll click. And, and one thing that I find doesn't work very well for this kind of blending is the heel brush. Of course, I say that and now I'm like, oh, look, it works good. So in my trial run of this, I was not thrilled with how the heel brush was performing for this. But actually, it just helped me out quite a bit right there. So maybe try the heel brush, see if it works for you. See there how it made that like. We went from a harsh line to another harsh line. Uh, it blended it a little bit better down here. Let's see about that. Oh, very nice. So heel brush, maybe. That probably wouldn't be my first go-to, but that worked right there in that case. Zoom out. So we still have a light wrinkle here and a dark wrinkle there. We are going to go and add some contouring back so she doesn't just have a a blank yellow front. We're going to go back to our clone stamp, darken, alt click. And I basically, if I see a light colored wrinkle, I pick darken mode to blend that out. And if I see a dark color wrinkle, I pick lighten mode to blend that out. There we go. I 
see that? I'm still in lightened mode. Beautiful. I don't know, guys. Should we like, should we get rid of this? I feel like, I mean, clothing does indeed make shapes. We still want this to look natural. There we go. We'll just do it a little bit. So we are actually going to go back in and add some contouring. And then I'm going to show you some ways to give them options for how smooth do you want this. So we'll go ahead and just take it down. Lovely. Okay, let's add some contouring, some color back to it so it's not so, so stark. But what I want to do, so this is a great save point. We're just going to file, save as, progress, one, save. Okay, just because I want to be able to come back here if I needed to, if something went um, astray, I want to be able to come back in and work on this just as it is here. I saved it as a PSD because I want to keep all of my layers. By the way, if we didn't have arms on there, our arm layer, we would have been cloning all over her arms and making a mess. So... There are our arms back. So now to add a little bit of shading to the side, we're going to go with our burn tool, midtones. I'm going to actually say highlights because I don't want to darken the shadow between the arm and the dress at all. So we're going to try highlights using my bracket key. What's going on? Okay, sorry about that. Sometimes you have to, when you go up here and select, it's not letting me change the size of the brush. So I go up here to highlights, then click somewhere, and now I can change the size. So that was too much. There we go. That was one click, one click. That was two. Ooh, I think that's better. Let's look at before, after. Something is bothering me right here. I'm a little hesitant to work on it because of the way I need to work on it, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to hit my eraser tool. So now I'm actually going to erase some of my background copy because I feel like control Z. I just want to see how this will look. I'm going to do a hundred percent. Sorry about that. We gotta be here on this background copy layer. Mm, I'm gonna go 26%, try it again. I like that a little bit more. It just, it looked too fake. And then maybe just, there we go. Just a little blending. That's all we need. So before, after, that's good. Okay, back to my burn tool on the background copy. Just quick little swips. Not that. So we go from here to there. Guys, I like that. And I'm going to call this file, save as, progress to ultra smooth. Okay, still saving it in layers so I can come back if I need to. Now what I want to show you is maybe this is too smooth for her. And she's like, that doesn't, that doesn't look how I want it to look. So we're just going to use our opacity just to bring back in tiniest bit of shape and wrinkles um, to the dress. Maybe she prefers that. And it's an easy option to give your client. So you, know, you can either show them, okay, hey, we can do this completely. 
We could have none at all, or we could have just a little bit. And I really enjoy that just a little bit. So we're going to say file, save as, medium, medium smooth. There we go. Again, I saved it in layers because that's what I want to do. I don't know. I feel like, nah, that's okay. I'm actually good with it. So that would be, this is my favorite. Maybe she prefers smooth. This is definitely a client choice. She's the one that asked for the change here. So I would definitely let her pick, hey, how do you want your dress to look? But I love that you can give options here with the opacity layer. Um, everything's still intact because we've been using the different layers. We still have arms up here, so they're nice and safe. That's a super fun trick um, when you need to do some detail cloning work um, to do a, you know, what you don't want to clone, just make a layer of, keep it up top, and then you're good to go. So guys, if you have any questions, um, I'd love to hear them. Leave them in the comments. If you want a copy of my actions, which I don't even think we use today, but uh, you can send me an email, Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that fun stuff. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.